and I heard a little, Meh! and I yanked that bag open, and I said, oh my freaking God, it's a baby. Uh, she instead throws that baby into a trash can. Your Honor, we cannot violate the statute of law, the procedures. We might as well wrap up Miss Alexis, a bill in the bag and throw the dumpster as well. A New Mexico judge ruling Alexis Avila is not a danger to society and is now under house arrest until her arraignment hearing. And this was the scene outside the courtroom following the judge's ruling. It did not sit well with community members mm -hmm. who stood outside. You see right there with signs protesting as Avila is able to go home tonight. Hi there, I'm Lauren Motter. Brian has the evening off. Avila, a senior in high school, is accused of giving birth to her baby boy, putting him in two trash bags, then throwing him away. Our Ryan Chandler has been following this case since the beginning and joins us with a look at what happened today in the courtroom. Well, Lauren, today we heard testimony from witnesses and from law enforcement in support of the state's argument that Avila should be held in jail until trial. And we learned more about the night that this baby boy was found. Officers telling us after spending almost six hours in a dumpster, the boy's body temperature was so low it wouldn't register on a thermometer. And we learned he had to have a blood transfusion, oxygen, and a feeding tube. That baby is now in stable condition at Covenant Children's here in Lubbock. But in Lovington today, the judge stopping short of detaining Avila, although he was far from sympathetic. The events for any human being are truly repulsive. No one can condone the callous activity. The judge not mincing words as he handed down restrictions on Alexis Avila for abandoning her newborn in a dumpster. And I'm going to make them strict as can be. And if you violate any of them, I'll put you in jail till trial. Receiving house arrest, an ankle monitor, and mandatory counseling and prohibited from using social media or contacting any men outside her home, including her newborn boy. She left that baby to simply die uh, with no care at all. If it had not been for individuals who went looking through the dumpsters, we would very likely be here on a different charge. The state asking she be detained until trial, arguing she presents a farther danger to the public with witness statements from the dumpster divers and from law enforcement. But at no point did she take she named the baby and referred to it as it the entire time. It? Yes, sir. So she didn't refer to him as a him or a he? No, sir. The defense arguing she is receiving treatment and is still finishing high school and no longer presents a danger to the public. Your Honor, we cannot violate the statute, the law, the procedures because of what is going on in our community, the outrage, the the, the severity of the case solely, because effectively, we might as well wrap up Miss Alexis Avila in a bag and put her in the dumpster as well. Before making his ruling, the judge saying the evidence against Avila is overwhelming, adding seldom do you see the events of the alleged crime on video, along with a confession. Mark my words, if sometime next summer you decide you're going to go somewhere outside that house, you'll be in jail. Do you understand? And now Avila awaits trial for charges of attempted murder and child abuse, but the state still has to schedule a preliminary hearing to decide which charge they will pursue. Of course, we'll keep you updated as soon as we learn the next time Avila will see a courtroom.